This is the ITEL S24, a budget smartphone that starts at 118,400 Naira or just around $91. Now at this price point, this smartphone shouldn't have a 108 megapixel main camera. And I was genuinely shocked with the pictures it was able to capture. It has a basic design, a display with a 90Hz refresh rate, a 5000mAh battery and a new chipset, the MediaTek Helio G91. That said, is this smartphone worth buying or should you buy something else? Well, keep watching to find out. Checking out what it comes with in the box, the S24 comes in different colors. There's even a version that changes color. The one I have here is the starry black. You get a TPU case, a SIM ejector tool, a USB Type-C cable and an 18 watts fast charger. Now let's talk about the build quality. The wear is made from plastic, the same with the frame and the front glass doesn't have cunning Gorilla glass protection. It doesn't have an IP rating as well but for the price of this smartphone, that's okay. What I like about this smartphone is it's not heavy, it feels good in the hand and it's well made. Taking a look at the external features, it has dual stereo speakers, one speaker is at the top and the main speaker is at the bottom. The sound quality is alright. If you turn up the volume, the rear of the smartphone vibrates. On the left side, it has a dual SIM card tray and a memory card slot. Moving to the bottom, it has a 3.5mm audio jack, a USB Type-C port and that's the main speaker. The volume of power buttons are located on the right side. The power button also doubles as the fingerprint scanner and the unlocking speed is fast. Now moving to the right, you can see two cameras but only one of them captures pictures and that's the 108 megapixel main camera while the other camera is just a depth sensor. Beside the camera sensors is a flash LED light. Now flipping the smartphone around, it has a 108 megapixel front camera and just beside it there's a flashlight. The display on this smartphone is a 6.6 .6 inch 720p IPS LCD panel with a refresh rate of 90 hertz. Being a 720p display, it isn't the sharpest out there but the colors it shows are alright. If you're the type that uses your smartphone outdoors, you might struggle to see the display a bit because the peak brightness of this screen is 480 nits. Now the processor in the ITEL S24 is new. It's a 12 nanometer chipset from MediaTek. It's called the MediaTek Helio G91 and it offers decent performance. This smartphone will be suitable for anybody that just wants a simple smartphone to browse the internet, scroll through social media apps. For multitasking, the S24 comes with 4 or 8 GB of RAM. The version I have has 4 GB of RAM that can be expanded and even with the RAM expansion, it stuttered a couple of times but nothing out of the ordinary. Now when it comes to gaming, I was impressed with the new processor. It plays PUBG at HD graphics and high frame rates. It can run this game with the same graphics settings as the TechnoSpark 20 and that smartphone cost 168,000 Naira. For Call of Duty Mobile, it played the game at medium graphics and high frame rate. For the price of this smartphone, that's good. The gameplay was smooth and totally playable. The smartphone did not get hot at all. Now Call of Duty players are going to groan about the low graphics setting but the game is playable on this smartphone. Now if you're a Call of Duty Warzone fan, unfortunately, this smartphone isn't compatible. Now moving to the Android operating system, it's running Android 13 and I don't think it will get an OS update. For ads, I've not seen any ads on this smartphone and it comes with minimal bloatware. The S24 has a voice assistant called I'm Ivana, your intelligent assistant. So what can you do? I can do a lot of things. I can make phone calls, send messages, play music and videos, provide weather forecasts, answer questions. What can I do to make money in 2024? There are several ways you can make money in 2024. Some popular options include starting an online business, freelancing, investing in stocks, or... What about if I open a church, will I make money? Opening a church is primarily a religious and spiritual endeavor rather than a means to make money. You can ask it questions and follow up with more questions. Not all the answers are correct but it's useful. The front camera on the S24 is an 8 megapixel shooter and it captures good looking pictures. You already know it has a flash LED light at the front that allows you to capture decent pictures when it's dark but outdoors is where the camera shines. The skin tone is on point and it's managed to capture details. Portrait shots look nice. The phone was able to separate me from the background. Guys, the front camera of this smartphone surprised me. For a smartphone at this price point, it's good. Capturing pictures where the sky is bright is a hit or miss affair. Sometimes it's good and other times it's not that good. But overall, it does a decent job in capturing what matters the most. The front camera has a wide angle mode but it's um, just don't use it at all. 
So here's a video from the front facing camera shooting in 2K 30 FPS. So what do you guys think about the quality? Let me know in the comment section. Hello. Now moving to the main camera, the 108 megapixel shooter, the pictures it captures are surprisingly good. The image looks sharp and vibrant. How is this smartphone able to capture good looking pictures like this? How? Honestly, the camera on the ITEL S24 is good for the price. Portrait shots disappointed me a bit and that's because the sky was just too bright in this picture. It seems like HDR doesn't work when it's in portrait mode. So here's a sample from the rear camera of the 108 megapixel shooter on the ITEL S24. Shooting in 2K 30 FPS. What do you guys think about the quality? Let me know in the comment section below. Now moving to the battery department, the S24 comes with a 5000mAh battery and it's been good. For the charging time, it's not going to be too fast, I mean it comes with an 18 watts fast charger. Now I must confess, when I got this smartphone, I was expecting it to be just there, but I was totally blown away by the cameras. The S24 is a budget smartphone that can handle basic tasks, the gaming performance also shocked me, and the battery life is good. For the negatives, the display is a 720p panel, which isn't the sharpest. Apart from that, the S24 is a good budget smartphone that I can recommend. So that's my review. Thank you for watching and I'm going to see you guys with more videos like this. Follow Reviews, signing out.